Time to go fishing. So I do need to organize this, but this is what we use to trace lines, locate tanks. If you're having issues locating a tank, highly recommend calling the county first. They should have a blueprint on file. Over here in Texas, I know for sure after 1985, they're supposed to have a diagram of the septic tank on file, but before that, you never know should be included with the builder plans as well but a lot of times those get lost in translation somewhere so we got the rigid navitrack scout sea snake micro reel this one only goes about 100 feet or so but usually that's more than enough so we're on the other side of the house and i've got clean out on this end for whatever reason Very strange setup. <laughs> yeah, these, uh, especially once you go to the Rigid brand, they get pricey. I think for this whole setup right here, looking at about around seven grand. Yeah, this setup right here is about seven or eight grand, I think. I know they have a couple budget setups, but I honestly like this one better than the one we got off Amazon. But I mean, you gotta start somewhere. So we're 40 feet right now. This can go about a hundred. Running into some debris right there. Okay, now we're in water. That's gotta be the. Okay, that is a turd. Get out of the way. Let's see if we can see where it's at right now. Because when we went until we got stuck, we ended up like somewhere. Well, I'm going to start pulling it back too so we can find out. No. Still under the house. You got 
Well, I mean, I stopped. I'll go ahead and push it some more. Okay, it's coming out the side. Um, keep going. Wait up, I'll, I'll tell you when to go bit by bit. Okay, pull it back towards you. Okay, pull it forward now. Yeah, push it. Push it some more. Okay, leave it right there. It actually looks like somebody cracked it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, cause it's not even, just... Yeah! Go ahead! Push it! Okay, let me get the... Dylan, uh, go ahead and turn on the sensor. I'll mark it and then keep pushing. I'll let you know when to push it again. Okay. That is crazy how y'all managed to get through the first time. Yeah, I told you. No, I pushed it hard. Oh, uh, I guess Dylan didn't want to break it. Seven feet. I was in there. So that this is how it's going. So where's the tank? It's gotta be that way. This is the line. So it's coming straight here. Let me see if Dylan I'm gonna call Dylan see if he can hit the baffle. Call Dylan. Uh push it and see if you can hit the baffle or get into the tank. Yeah, you're you're on the other side of the fence now. Okay, yeah, do that. You're in the baffle right now? 
Okay, let me uh, turn the sensor on. Went in because mm. I mean, it's if it was telling you, like, it says four feet. Let's see. Yeah, four feet. Like last year. Oh, <laughs> I think I just like my old one better. So uh, that's what reminded me of it. Got the lid right here. Let's see how deep that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get deep. Let me, I'll send you a text right now because I need, I actually need a tip. Yeah, here's the lid, the outside right here. It's an octagon. Okay. Hold this or something. And I'm going to put it in the back. Uh, get, get the rock bar. Thank you.
So just finished pumping it out, I'm waiting on my brother now. He just went to uh, the supply store to pick up some risers. So we're gonna go ahead and install those. It's about three and a half, four feet deep. So don't wanna have to call in the excavator next time we need to pump it out or unclog it through the inlet. So we're gonna install risers. They're a good investment, I believe. Um, whenever you factor in bringing in an excavator, bringing in um, somebody to dig it up, it's a lot cheaper to just install risers the first time you have to dig it up and then you don't have to worry about having it dug up ever again. So I'm gonna film that as well. I'll probably make that in a separate one because a lot of y'all have been asking for a riser install video. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a comment, hit that like button, subscribe. That'll let you know when I drop a new video. And as always, thank y'all.